Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we are going to practice percent and your knowledge of percent. Now, most people think, oh yes, percent, I can do percent problems because maybe you can find the percent of a number. And if you can, that's very good. Of course, that's like the kind of most basic type of problem that uh, most people kind of uh, do when they're taught, when they think of percent, right? Like, hey, how do you find 7% of 20, something along those lines. But actually, percent has some pretty interesting, uh, the topic of percent has some pretty interesting and variety of uh, different type of problems, often which you may have to use some algebra to figure out. But uh, this particular problem, let's go ahead and just actually, let me read the problem. It says, 19 is X percent of 57. Okay, so feel free to use a calculator. If you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one second. Then of course, we're gonna uh, walk through how to approach this problem and solve it step by step. Now, I will say one thing. Uh, if you, well, actually I'm gonna say two things. One, if you get this right, but you kind of guess because we have you know, two numbers here, 19 and 57, and you know, some of you might just get lucky by doing some, you know, something with 19 and 57, you just happen to get the right answer. So that's not a good way to approach learning mathematics. You really want to know what you're doing. So that brings me to my second point. When it comes to percent, there's a couple different ways that percent can be taught. And some of you might have been uh, taught percent in one way, uh, others of you another way, uh, both ways or, you know, whatever way you learn percent, it is correct as long as you understand what you're doing. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the answer. 19 is X percent of 57. What is X? Well, the answer is 33, or the answer, complete answer is 33.3%. Uh, okay, so how'd you do? Well, hopefully you got this right. If that's the case, let's go ahead and give you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and a multiple stars. So you can tell your friends and family that indeed you can handle percent questions. Well, at least these type. And uh, again, percent, you know, is a skill, but it's like an overall topic, right? So you're going to learn what is percent, what's the definition of percent, how to do, how to find, let's say, uh, uh, the percent of a number. And then you kind of go to different type of variety of uh, percent prompts. So if you thought, oh yeah, percent is easy. Well, maybe not so fast for some of you, but let's go ahead and get into this problem. And the way I want to kind of approach this is just quickly review a very common problem that uh, most of us kind of encounter when we think of percent, right? So uh, like on a daily basis, you might want to figure out what's the percent of a certain percentage of a number, right? So like, hey, what's 8% of 30? So a couple different ways you can approach this. Of course, you can do this on your calculator if you have a percent button. But basically, to find the percent of a number, the mechanics here, the process is the following, okay? What we want to do is uh, change, let me actually use a different color. We want to convert or write percent as a decimal. So that's the first thing we need to do. So how do we write a percent as a decimal? Well, let's just review that real fast. So here we have 8%. If I want to express 8% as a decimal, all I need to do is to divide by 100. So 8 divided by 100 will be 0 0.08. Again, feel free to use your calculator to help you out. Now, uh, that uh, divided by 100 is effectively the same thing as moving the decimal point over two places to the left. Okay, so here, 8% um, or 8.0%, just so we're really clear on where the decimal point's at, I can scoot that over two places to the left. So I'm going to end up with 0 0.08. Okay, so this is the decimal equivalent of 8%. Okay, so that's the first thing you need to understand is how you write a percentage as a decimal. And then all we need to do is to take this percent, 8% of 30, we're going to write that uh, percentage as a decimal and multiply by the number. So 0 0.08 times 30, we're going to our calculator, we get 2.4. All right, so hopefully uh, most of you out there, uh, you know, understand this. You're like, yes, yes, I get this. Move on with the problem, Mr. YouTube Math Man. You're taking too long. Well, listen, let me just kind of review this stuff uh, for those of you out there that may need a quick review. Okay, so now that we understand this, let's go ahead and um, look at the, this information in a different way. So we have 8% of 30 is equal to what? Well, the answer was 2.4. So what does that mean? Well, 
it means this, okay? Or we can kind of look at uh, this scenario in a couple of different ways. If I take 2.4 and divide it by 30, I'm going to get 0 0.08. So if I asked you 2.4 is what percent of 30? Well, how would we answer that question? Well, 2.4, uh, we know, is 8% of 30, right? So let's come back up here. 8% of 30 is what? 2.4. So we're just kind of reshuffling the sentence. We're saying, oh, yeah, 2.4 is 8% of 30, or 8% of 30 is 2.4. So we're seeing the same information. We're just organizing it differently, right? So 2.4 um, is uh, 2.4 out of 30 is 0 0.08, which is the same thing as 8%. So oftentimes, when you um, are dealing with percent problems, you want to also keep in this model if you're trying to find what percent is a number out of an, another number, you want to be thinking of a part out of a whole, okay? Because that is kind of a really good kind of conceptual model uh, in terms of percent, right? So what part of um, uh, out of 30 is 2.4? So how do we do that? Well, part out of, whole, uh, out of a whole, what part out of a whole? So you take that 2.4, divide it by 30 in your calculator, you're going to get 0 0.08. So this is your decimal, okay? Well, we want a percent. So what do we have to do? Well, we have to now multiply by 100. So remember, 8% to go to a decimal, we divide by 100, okay? Uh, then we end up with 0 0.08. So if we want to reverse the process and go from 0 0.08 back into a percentage, we're going to have to multiply by 100. So that's how we go from decimals to percent. So 0 0.08 uh, times 100, which is the same thing as moving the decimal point over two places to the right. So remember, uh, we went from percent to decimal. You move the decimal point over two places to the left. If we're going the other direction, we're going to move it two places to the right, which is 8%. Okay, so it's important that you understand this kind of model or this um kind of a perception, if you will, of percent uh, scenario. Right? We're trying to percent of a number, 8% of 30 is 2.4, or 2.4 out of 30 is 0 0.08, which of course is 8%. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get into our problem. So 19 is X percent of 57. So what is X? Well, X is just an unknown value, right? So another way we can um, state this is 19 is X percent or what percent, right? I could just say what uh, percent of uh, 57. So don't let these variables and things like this kind of confuse you, right? You kind of interpret the problem. So 19 is what percent of 50, uh, 57 or 19 is X percent of 57? Well, 19 is what? Well, 19 would be our part, right? And 57 is our whole. So to figure this out, we're going to... Um, Take 19 and divide it by 57. That will tell us what percent or X percent. So let's go ahead and actually do this again. Feel free to use your calculator. So we're going to take 19 divided by 57. That's going to be our answer, but not quite. Okay. We want percentage, but what we're going to do when we take 19 and divide it by 57, we're going to end up with 0.333. We have to recognize that, oh, this is a decimal. We want percentage. So how do we go from a percentable, uh, decimal excuse me, to a percentage? We're going to have to multiply by 100 or scoot the decimal point over two places to the right. So 0.333, okay, or 0.3 repeating, multiply by the, uh, that by 100, we get 33.3, uh, to be more technical about it, repeating percent. Okay, so hopefully this wasn't that difficult. But uh, even so, even if you knew how to do this, you know, it's good to review these concepts, all right? And if there's one math a math skill that you really, really want to master, uh, not just for your math class, right? Whatever math class you're in, I'm talking about for life, that is percent. I mean, just think about it. How often do you see this symbol throughout the day? I mean, we'd probably be surprised how often you see the percent symbol on TV and commercials, you know, credit card offers, mortgage rates, inflation news. You've got to understand percent uh, you know, uh, to really kind of understand what's going on around you, especially when it comes to money, which I'm sure a lot of you are interested in. Okay, so if you need help, though, with percent above and beyond this video, uh, let me give you a couple quick suggestions. One, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel about percent, uh, more challenging type of problems. But if you really are in need of like a good basic math review, percent, fractions, decimals, whatnot, 
check out my uh, Math Foundations course, all right? It's a little mini course, but it's an excellent uh, foundational basic math course, uh, you know, that goes over all the things that, you know, you probably forgot in elementary and middle school. But you need to know those, uh, you know, be strong in arithmetic and the like to be successful in uh, subjects like algebra and beyond. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.